What's going on YouTube? Listen up, young elder gang. This is Dr. Michael Carter at You With Another Banger. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video, fam. I hope this video get at least 100,000 likes. In this video, you will find history, definitions, scripture, information, and best of all, what we Americans have been deprived of from the beginning, the truth. Keep in mind, this content used in this video is intended for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. We will give you the total truth as we best understand it today. Be sure to hit that like button, young elder gang. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell and don't forget to check back with us every day for new content. All right, let's get started. The term Manchurian candidate sends shivers down your spine. It evokes a sense of unease, a chilling reminder of the potential for human manipulation. Human manipulation is when someone uses underhanded or unfair tactics to influence or control another person to get what they want. Manipulators are often good at reading people's emotions and use that skill to exploit their weaknesses. Some tactics that manipulators may use include guilt tripping, making someone feel responsible for something that's not their fault, isolation, separating someone from their friends and family, devaluing and gaslighting, making someone feel guilty or confused to make them doubt themselves, fear or violence, threatening someone to keep them under control. Manipulation is generally considered a dishonest form of social influence because it's used at the expense of others. People are often unaware that they are being manipulated because it's done in a way that conceals the manipulator's intentions. A Manchurian candidate is a term used to describe a person who is brainwashed into acting as an agent for a foreign enemy. The term is often used to imply disloyalty or corruption, whether intentional or unintentional. A Manchurian candidate is a person, especially a politician, being used as a puppet by an enemy power. You have different types of Manchurian candidates. For the most part, they are used as brainwashed assassins, programmed to kill without hesitation. These are individuals stripped of their free will, turned into mere instruments of destruction. This scenario is more than just a plot device, a reflection of real-world fears and possibilities. The term originates from the 1959 novel and subsequent films depicting a captured American soldier brainwashed by communists. This story, while fictional, was deeply rooted in the anxieties of the Cold War era. He becomes a sleeper agent, activated by a trigger phrase to assassinate a political figure. This concept of a hidden, dormant threat ready to be unleashed at a moment's notice was both thrilling and terrifying to audiences. While the movie is fictional, the concept of the Manchurian candidate is rooted in very real fears about psychological manipulation and covert operations. During the Cold War, both the United States and the Soviet Union were engaged in extensive research into mind control techniques. The idea that someone could be turned against their will, transformed into a weapon pointed at their loved ones, is terrifying. It raises questions about the nature of identity and the limits of human autonomy. It taps into our deepest anxieties about free will and the fragility of our own minds. If our thoughts and actions can be controlled by others, what does that say about the essence of who we are? Some people point to figures like Woodrow Wilson, Henry Kissinger, Obama, Bill Clinton, and George W. Bush as potential Manchurian candidates. They are political Manchurian candidates. Others point at people like John Warnock Hinckley Jr., Sean Grayson, Darren Wilson, George Zimmerman, Dylan Roof, Derek Chauvin, and Timothy Lohman, just to name a few, were Manchurian candidates. These claims, while often dismissed as conspiracy theories, reflect a broader distrust of political power and the influence of unseen forces called the Black Hand with a white glove on, the political Manchurian candidates. They argue that their actions, particularly in foreign policy, have been detrimental to the United States. Critics suggest that these leaders may have been manipulated by external forces, acting against the best interests of their own country. They suggest that these powerful figures might be acting under the influence of the deep state, their strings being pulled by unseen puppet masters. This idea of hidden control and manipulation is a recurring theme in political discourse. Whether these claims are true or simply the product of paranoia is a matter of debate. The truth may be elusive, but the fear and suspicion they generate are very real. However, they highlight the enduring power of the Manchurian candidate archetype and the fear it continues to evoke. This archetype serves as a potent symbol of our anxieties about control, autonomy, and the potential for unseen forces to shape our destinies. 
As we navigate an increasingly complex world, the line between fact and fiction can often blur. The Manchurian Candidate remains a powerful reminder of the potential for manipulation and the importance of vigilance in safeguarding our minds and our freedoms. Whether through literature, film, or real-world events, the concept challenges us to question the nature of reality and the forces that shape it. It urges us to remain critical and aware, to protect our autonomy in an age where information and influence are more pervasive than ever. The story of the Manchurian Candidate is not just about fear, but also about resilience. It reminds us that while the threat of manipulation is real, so too is our capacity to resist and reclaim our own narratives. Imagine, if you will, a scenario where someone's thoughts, actions, and even beliefs are controlled by another. This is the essence of the Manchurian Candidate concept. It's like being a puppet master, but instead of strings, the control is exerted through psychological manipulation. The mind, a powerful and complex entity, can be influenced in ways that are both subtle and profound. Psychological manipulation is a type of social influence that involves using underhanded or unfair tactics to control or change another person's behavior or perception. The goal of manipulation is to advance the manipulator's interests, often at the expense of the victim. Manipulators may use a variety of tactics, including guilt tripping, making someone feel responsible for something that's not their fault, negative surprises, using unexpected negative information to put someone off balance, giving little time to decide, putting pressure on someone to make a decision before they're ready, negative humor, making critical remarks disguised as humor or sarcasm, playing the servant role, cloaking a self-serving agenda in the guise of service to a more noble cause, Seduction, using charm, praise, or flattery to lower someone's defenses. Projecting blame, scapegoating the victim in subtle ways. Some people are more likely to be manipulated if they are people pleasers and seek others' approval. Often say yes when they want to say no. Psychological manipulation can be problematic when it occurs too often, involves extreme behaviors, or forces someone to ignore their feelings. The idea of turning humans into robots isn't just the stuff of science fiction. It's a concept that has fascinated and terrified people for decades, appearing in countless books, movies, and TV shows. But what if this idea is closer to reality than we think? It's a chilling reality when you consider the implications of brainwashing and mind control. These techniques can strip away individuality, leaving people as mere shadows of their former selves, controlled by unseen forces. People can be programmed to act against their own will, carrying out tasks and missions without conscious awareness. This isn't just a hypothetical scenario. History has shown us instances where individuals have been manipulated to serve the interests of others. It's as if they become robotic, devoid of personal agency, and driven by implanted directives. Their actions become mechanical, their expressions vacant, and their sense of self eroded. This transformation is not only disturbing, but also a testament to the potential dangers of psychological manipulation. It raises important ethical questions about the limits of control and the sanctity of the human mind. As technology advances, we must remain vigilant to ensure that the line between human and machine is not blurred beyond recognition. Manchurian candidates are programmed as sleeper agents. Most people are uncomfortable with the idea that they can be programmed, a discomfort that can very quickly escalate to full-blown denial. Yet there is ample evidence to show that such programming is remarkably, indeed, entirely too easy. And anyone who is involved in media, social media, advertising, or organized religion can generally lay out most of the basics. Call the people who engage in this social programming, social programmers, or for brevity, sogrammers. A computer program is a sequence or set of instructions in a programming language for a computer to execute. It is one component of software, which also includes documentation and other intangible components. A computer program in its human readable form is called source code. The first step to programming your human is to heighten the US versus them factor. This process usually involves playing upon a person's conformational biases. The so grammar identifies their target demographic and looks both at what that demographic likes and more importantly, what they vehemently dislike. Those dislikes are important information because such dislikes usually serve as the basis of what separates us from them. The word program has multiple meanings. Plan, a series of actions or steps taken to achieve a specific outcome. For example, a school lunch program or a drug rehabilitation program. Schedule, a listing of events to be presented or considered, such as the order of musical numbers at a concert. Broadcast, a television or radio production or similar internet-based content. Entertainment list, 
a list of items, performers, or pieces in a musical, theatrical, or other entertainment, course of study, an integrated course of academic studies, such as a graduate program or a degree program, pension plan, a tax-deferred pension plan for employees of unincorporated businesses or for self-employed persons, system of projects, a system of projects or services intended to meet a public need, such as a daycare program, Programs in the matrix come in many forms, such as an artificial environment, sparring program, inanimate objects, for example, keys or guns, or are even sentient machine entities that appear as human. Strictly speaking, all objects within the matrix form a massively complex computer program. Like we said, Manchurian candidate are sleeper agents. A sleeper agent is a spy or operative who is placed in a target country or organization not to undertake an immediate mission but instead to act as a potential asset on short notice if activated. Even if not activated, the sleeper agent is still an asset and can still play an active role in sedition, espionage, or possibly treason by virtue of agreeing to act if activated. A team of sleeper agents may be referred to as a sleeper cell. A sleeper cell or agent may possibly be working with others in a clandestine cell system. While there, he is part of a program to brainwash people and send them into the United States as sleeper agents. When the numbers are broadcast, the sleeper agents are conditioned to automatically obey certain commands and then forget ever following them. The purpose is to blend into society or a specific environment until they are called upon to perform a mission such as espionage, sabotage, or terrorist activities. Sleeper agents often undergo extensive training and are equipped with skills that allow them to operate undetected. A sleeper agent is an agent whose mission is a long-term mission where the agent is planted in a certain location to supposedly live his life as normal until his spy masters tell him to carry out a task. Sometimes it can take a few years before he's called up. Manchurian candidate are implanted with false memories. False memories can be implanted in people through a technique called memory implantation. This technique involves feeding people false information about their lives, which can cause them to believe the false event is true. Researchers have successfully implanted false memories such as being lost in a mall as a child, taking a hot air balloon ride, putting slime in a teacher's desk. In one study, researchers asked participants to report on events from their childhood that were told to them by family members. The researchers then planted a false event such as being lost in a mall, and about 30% of participants claimed to have experienced it. Memory implantation techniques were developed in the 1990s to study how easy it is to distort people's memories. The technique has implications for therapy and legal settings. For example, defense attorneys often use accusations of implanted memories in court. Some people find the idea of implanting false memories in therapy to be unethical and sinister. They worry that health professionals lying to patients could lead to the therapy being used for nefarious purposes. Others worry that implanting false memories would rob people of their free will and authenticity. Memory implantation involves feeding people untrue information about their lives so that it becomes embedded in their memory, causing the people to misidentify the false event as true. Researchers found that 50% of people involved in the studies were susceptible to believing fake facts. Manchurian candidate have what they call a domineering mother or father. A domineering mother or father is a handler. A handler is a person who trains or has charge of the Manchurian candidate. The handler must have strict rigid rules and expectations. The handler knows the activation code to activate the Manchurian candidate. Manchurian candidates are trained or programmed using brainwashing techniques. Brainwashing is the controversial theory that purports that the human mind can be altered or controlled against a person's will by manipulative psychological techniques. Brainwashing. Systematic effort to persuade non-believers to accept a certain allegiance, command, or doctrine. A colloquial term, it is more generally applied to any technique designed to manipulate human thought or action against the desire, will, or knowledge of the individual. By controlling the physical and social environment, an attempt is made to destroy loyalties to any unfavorable groups or individuals, to demonstrate to the individual that his attitudes and patterns of thinking are incorrect and must be changed and to develop loyalty and unquestioning obedience to the ruling party. The term is most appropriately used in reference to a program of political or religious indoctrination or ideological remolding. The techniques of brainwashing typically involve isolation from former associates and sources of information, an exacting regimen requiring absolute obedience and humility, strong social pressures and rewards for cooperation, physical and psychological punishments for non-cooperation 
ranging from social ostracism and criticism, deprivation of food, sleep, and social contacts, to bondage and torture, and continual reinforcement. Coercive persuasion is the use of psychological pressure, threats, or intimidation to force someone to change their beliefs, behaviors, or attitudes. It's also known as indoctrination or brainwashing. Coercion is different from persuasion, which is when someone tries to influence another person's beliefs or behaviors, but the person being influenced has a choice about whether to act on it. Coercion is when someone tries to get a desired outcome by any means necessary, even if it means using force or threats. Some examples of coercive persuasion include intimidation, threats, physical force, exploiting vulnerabilities, using substances like alcohol, taking advantage of power imbalances and persistent pressure. Manchurian candidate have triggers to activate them. A trigger is a stimulus that can cause an adverse emotional reaction or worsen symptoms of a mental health condition. A trigger is an external event or circumstance that can cause a person to experience uncomfortable or distressing emotional or psychiatric symptoms. Examples. A trigger can be a sound, sight, smell, physical sensation, or even a time of day or season. For example, the sound of fireworks can be a trigger for combat veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Effects. Triggers can cause a person to experience a range of emotions such as anxiety, panic, despair, or negative self-talk. They can also cause a person to relive a traumatic event through a flashback. Importance, understanding, and identifying triggers can be empowering and effective. It can help people learn to cope with triggers and choose not to expose themselves to situations that harm their mental health. Individualized, triggers vary widely from person to person and are often strongly influenced by past experiences. A trigger is a stimulus that elicits a reaction. In the context of mental illness, trigger is often used to mean something that brings on or worsens symptoms. This often happens to people with a history of trauma or who are recovering from mental illness, self-harm, addiction, and or eating disorders. In mental health terms, a trigger refers to something that affects your emotional state, often significantly, by causing extreme overwhelm or distress. A trigger affects your ability to remain present in the moment. It may bring up specific thought patterns or influence your behavior. For example, the agents trigger Manchurian Candidate by suggesting he play solitaire. The Queen of Diamonds activates him. Manchurian Candidate are under MKUltra. The CIA's MKUltra program, which ran from the early 1950s to the late 1960s, aimed to explore and manipulate human consciousness through various means. This covert research program involved experiments with psychoactive drugs, particularly LSD, as well as other methods such as hypnosis, sensory deprivation, and various forms of psychological manipulation. According to declassified CIA documents, the program's objectives included investigating chemical, biological, and radiological methods for altering mental states and brain function. The agency spent an estimated $10 million, equivalent to about $87.5 million today. On these experiments, which were conducted at over 80 institutions, including universities, hospitals, and pharmaceutical companies. The program's chief architect, CIA chemist Sidney Gottlieb, sought to create ways to seize control of people's minds through a two-step process. First, to blast away the existing mind, and second, to insert a new mind into that resulting void. This approach involved the use of various drugs, particularly LSD, as well as other techniques like electroshock therapy and sensory deprivation, generally exploring possibilities for controlling and influencing human behavior and cognition, countering perceived Soviet and Chinese mind control capabilities being used on U.S. prisoners of war, testing the effects of psychoactive drugs like LSD for potential intelligence military applications, exploring ways to manipulate foreign leaders and potentially create unwitting double agents, studying how to induce involuntary behavior like forcing someone to try an assassination against their will, exploring methods for remote viewing and gathering intelligence through psychic means, researching electromagnetic wave technologies for potential mind control applications, including remote behavioral control and cognitive modification, investigating microwave and ultrasonic techniques for covert communication and influencing brain activity, studying ways to use sonic and subsonic frequencies to affect mental states and behavior, research techniques for implanting thoughts, memories, or suggestions using electromagnetic pulses. Manchurian Candidate are hypno-assassins. Hypno-assassins is a person who uses hypnosis to influence others and commit murder. Hypnotic techniques, hypno-assassins use hypnosis to alter their own perceptions of time and reality 
and to enhance their physical and mental abilities. They also use hypnosis to read the minds of others and to plant ideas in people's minds to make them do things against their will. CIA experiments. The CIA had a project called Project Artichoke that used hypnosis, LSD, and isolation to create hypnotized subjects for assassination. The CIA found that hypnotized people could be ordered to do things they would not otherwise do, such as firing a gun at someone, Manchurian candidate hypothesis. The assassination of Robert F. Kennedy suggests that Sirhan Sirhan was psychologically programmed to commit the murder. The theory suggests that Sirhan was unaware of his actions at the time and that the conspirators wiped his mind afterwards. Manchurian candidate are trained using Skinner box techniques. A Skinner box is a controlled laboratory apparatus used to study animal behavior, particularly in the context of operant conditioning, where an animal is placed in an enclosed environment with a lever or button they can manipulate to receive a reward, like food, for performing a desired behavior, allowing researchers to observe and analyze how the animal learns and responds to different stimuli and reinforcement schedules. It was designed by psychologist B.F. Skinner. The Skinner box is a small box structure designed to block out light and sound to reduce external stimuli and for the purpose of testing small animals and reinforcing their positive behavior and minimizing their negative behavior. A Skinner box, also called an operant conditioning chamber, is a small enclosed apparatus used in psychology experiments to study animal behavior by allowing an animal to perform a specific action, like pressing a lever, to receive a reward, usually food, which reinforces that behavior and encourages repetition. Essentially, the animal learns to associate its actions with positive consequences, demonstrating the principles of operant conditioning developed by B.F. Skinner. Key points about a Skinner box. Basic design. The box contains a lever or key that the animal can manipulate, a mechanism to deliver reinforcement, like food pellets, and often sensors to record the animal's behavior. Operant conditioning principle. When an animal accidentally performs the desired action, like pressing the lever, it receives a reward, making it more likely to repeat that action in the future. Controlling stimuli. Researchers can manipulate different stimuli within the box, like lights or sounds, to study how they influence the animal's behavior. Data recording. The Skinner box records the animal's responses, allowing researchers to analyze the frequency and pattern of behavior under different conditions. Example of a Skinner box experiment. A hungry rat in a box. When the rat accidentally presses a lever, a food pellet is dispensed. Over time, the rat learns to consistently press the lever to get food. 